What up, people? Um, I'm going to wait for just a little bit so that I can see if a few more people join. But uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. I apologize. My face is, is kind of quieted out. It, uh, the lighting's not good in here. I've got the lights turned out. This is just natural light from outside. It's pretty bright today. So deal with it. I look like I'm really bright and sunny today. So just that's that's what you're going to get. Okay. Um, a few announcements before we get into... Uh, hey, Erskine. A few announcements before we get into um, our actual blog post today. Uh, then, first of all, I apologize. It's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, I started a blog series called The Four Pillars of the Christian Music Artist, and I never finished it. Well, that's one of my new new year's resolutions for this year is i'm going to finish it <laughs> i'm going to go back where we left off and, and finish that series okay so thank you for your patience on that um we've had a lot of things i'm reflecting you know we my blog post today is called um it, it's it's called uh, reflect and renew and this is something that I do with every one of the artists that I manage every year. Uh, we do something at the end of the year or toward the first of the year uh, called Reflect and Renew. Uh, those of you that have been with me for longer than a year, you you know what this is. But those of you that uh, joined us this year uh, in management, there's a couple that, have, that we signed this year in management. Uh, this is a new thing for you. Uh, so uh, you're going to hear about it for the first time uh, this year. Uh, today. So uh, this is um, something that we do every year and it's something that that's uh, going to be pretty exciting that will help you get on track uh, with your goals. Okay, but uh, first, just to give a chance for a few more people to come on line, uh, we're going to uh, go through a few announcements and reflect on some things that happened this year. Um, uh, we will... Um, do this you know individually with each of the artists you know in, in the reflect segment but uh, uh, one of the things that um, we did this year is we hit a lot of records with a size radio promotion i'm pretty excited about that we released a number of songs and uh, here are just some of them that we released we released uh, two songs for or no one song for strangers and heroes uh, a new band that i manage and we released a song for them called Impact. Uh, there's a new band that came out uh, known as the Union of Sinners and Saints. They're actually a combination of two bands from the old classic rock days uh, known as Petra and uh, Whiteheart came together and formed one band. It has the lead singer from, uh, uh, fr from Petra, John Schlitt, <laughs> and then it has a few of the members from uh, uh, Whiteheart, Billy Smiley, uh, Sally, a few others, you know, that, that used to be with uh, Whiteheart. They all came together and formed one band. Uh, and then uh, we they re released an album, and then we have two singles that I've released from them. Uh, one, Independence Day, that's a remake from an old number one hit that they had, had from way back in the day. Uh, it's a remake of that song, but with John Schlitt from Petra on the, on the lead. That song is a killer song. You know, we released it. And then we came up with a song called, um, uh, they did, <laughs> with, with Rise Up. And we released it. And we're still working it right now. Uh, so, another good song. We released a, a song called Be My Sabbath by Sherry Kinky. We released two songs for Crystal Lewis. The song Faithful and one called Love Each Other. Uh, we released two songs for Erskine and Vitarte, who happens to be on right now. Um, do What You Gotta Do. It got some really great uh, airplay, uh, and still is, by the way. And I still see spins from that, you know, and will for a long time, because that is an incredible song. It got some, some uh, major airplay from Way FM and some other stations. It just did very well. Then he had another song, had another song come out uh, known as Black and White. Um, we have uh, also uh, Shelly E. Johnson. We, we released a song... For her, uh, called Love Me First, Sean Hill, the producer uh, that has produced a lot of these songs, you know, for other people. Well, he released a, a single himself 
Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Main Street. It's been a while. Okay, so uh, Sean Hill released a song, uh, You're the Fire, that's just tearing it up. You know, it's, it's a good song. Living Sacrifice is a song that was released by Meredith Kinley. Um, and there was two songs that were released uh, by Summer Floyd, a brand new artist uh, that you'll be hearing a lot from. She is really, really good. Uh, new artist uh, out of Texas. Uh, and uh, just just an incredible artist. So there, and then there's a lot of others that we've released. You know, that's just a highlights of some. Uh, we have some new singles coming up. Uh, we broke a lot of records with those uh, that we released, and some even from the year before uh, that we released that continued on and continued to break records. Um, we had a song by Meredith Kinley that actually was played on. Uh, it topped out at over fifteen hundred radio outlets worldwide. We had never had that happen before 2016. In fact, I think we struggled to get a thousand radio outlets with a lot of them. We were getting seven, eight, nine hundred, you know, prior to that. And then all of a sudden we just started, you know, exploding with some of the singles. And and I think it was Meredith's song. Yeah, it was Meredith's song. Um, I think it was Sail On, her very first single that we released. They just continue to get ads, and it ended up with over 1,500 radio outlets. It's just unbelievable. Um, new singles that are coming up. We um, uh, have um, Chris Sly from American Idol. He just released his uh, new album. Uh, it's the first one he's released in two or three years. Um, and he kind of took a sabbatical, was a worship leader for a while. He's going back in, uh, just moved back to Nashville um, and he, uh, you'll remember him. He's, he's the guy that used to have the big afro, but now he has very little hair. He's shaved it down, <laughs> but, uh, he's, he's, uh, one of the finalists from American Idol. Incredible album. And we're releasing, releasing a new song for him, uh, on the 17th of January. We have a new song coming out by a young lady by the name of Maddie Ray. I'm just going over the highlights. There's several that are set up. Uh, but we have one coming out. Uh, Leslie Woods is releasing a new single uh, in January. Denise Pass uh, is one that we're releasing in January. That one, uh, she uh, recorded um, with um, um, Denise. If, you, if you're on here, help me out. Who was it you recorded with? Ed Cash. Ed Cash. Uh, she recorded with Ed Cash. And it is a phenomenal song. We're going to be releasing that. Patricia Tasker, another song by Summer Floyd, and others. I won't you know, keep long because there's a lot of people getting on here now. So I won't keep it long. But let's go ahead and get into our segment called Reflect and Renew um, as a blog post. And this is something I typically go over with, with the uh, artists that I manage. But I wanted to make it live this time and make it a, a blog post since it had been a while since I had done this and, and make it a blog post. So I just got to reflecting on the things that we had happen at A-Size Radio Promotion. We also had a lot of great things happen on the McLaughlin Music Group side, our management side. Uh, and uh, just very excited about the things that happened. You know, So I reflected about a lot of the things on the A-Sides uh, area. Really good stuff that's happening there. Getting ready to do even more. Okay. But let's talk about the renew. It's time to renew our goals, okay? But before you do that, go out today. If you haven't already got one, if you don't already have one, go out and get a journal, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be an expensive journal. You can get a, a, a legal pad for less than a buck, you know? Made with recycled paper if you want to. It doesn't have to be an expensive journal. Or you can get a one of those nice notebooks with the layers, you know, that, that's wire bound if you want. Or you can get a nice journal if you want. I don't care, you know. But uh, we're going to make it real simple. Something that you can do every single day that will help you. Okay, this will help you with your goals. Okay, we're going to be talking about four types of goals and things that you'll be working on every single day. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to be highlighting specific things that happen with a symbol in the outer edge of the page each day at the end of the day as we go back and reflect 
on the things that we just journaled, okay? So if there's something that you journaled that day that happened that was a great achievement or an accomplishment, I want you to put a star. There's three symbols. One, put a star if it's a great accomplishment or achievement in the upper corner of the page, you know, depending on whether it's the front or the back as you go, you know, but put it up there. And then I want you to highlight that segment that was the great achievement or or, or, or uh, something that happened that, that was such a great achievement or or anything like that. So, so a star and then the second symbol if there is an unresolved issue or a situation that you need to come back to, maybe it's a question that you have that you haven't figured out the answer to yet. Maybe it's something you've been praying about that you don't have an answer from God yet. But when you have that, highlight that area on that page that day and put a question mark. That's the second symbol is a question mark. Okay? So that could be for an unresolved issue or a situation that you need to come back to, you highlight that area. The third thing would be Maybe this is a bold statement that you just made. It could be a revelation or, a, or an epiphany, something that occurred that day that just is very profound to you. Put a big exclamation mark in that upper right-hand or left-hand corner of that page, okay? And then highlight that area that was the revelation or epiphany or a statement or you know something that, that came up. So the three symbols, star for a great achievement, question mark for, for an unresolved issue or question, um, and an exclamation mark if it's a bold statement or a revelation or epiphany or something that occurred that day, it's very profound to you, okay? Now, let's talk about the four different types of goals that we want to accomplish every single day. There's four different areas or four different types of goals. First one is spiritual goals. We're gonna start out, I'd start out with this every day, and I think it's important that, that we start out, you know, with, with uh, with prayer and with our, our daily morning scripture. I want to encourage you maybe to go deep and not wide. Um, and what I mean by that, it, there's nothing wrong with trying to go through and reading the Bible in the in a year. I'm totally cool with that. I, I would suggest you do that sometime if you never have. And then once you've done that, go back and do it again. Um, is go back and, and read um, read it in chronological order you know, um, do a devotion each morning, but reading the Bible in a year in chronological order. That's a lot of fun too. And a lot of uh, things you can get out of that. But this year, what I'm doing personally and what might be good for you to do if you've done those things in the past is, is to go deep instead of wide. Maybe just r read one short verse or one short segment of a verse and go deep with it. Really look at different versions of that verse, different, uh, you know, uh, look at it in the Amplified Bible, look at it in the NIV, look at it in different other versions and seeing uh, what the different versions are on that one verse, you know, pick it up apart, you know, it's kind of like uh, you can skip a rock across the water and go as wide as you want, but this time you're looking down for the pebbles and you're looking deep into the water and trying to find those nuggets that are really cool looking rocks, you know, really cool looking things that, that you can take and, and latch onto and keep, you know. Uh, so you want to go deep, not wide, it, you know, and I, at least that's what I'm doing this year. Another thing I'm doing this year is I'm making a list of 52 verses and I'm going to memorize one per week so that, that after the end of the entire year, I'll have 52 verses memorized. Verses that I have not already memorized. Everybody knows John 3, 16. Everybody knows the, the verse, Jesus wept, you know? And I'm not talking about starting out with those because you're lazy. You know, those ones you already know, great, okay? But but uh, let's make a list of 52 verses that you have not memorized. And you, and you may not make that whole list of 52 starting out, but start out making 10 and then Memorize one a week, you know, and then as you're going through those, you can start, you know, looking up some other verses that you don't have memorized yet and, and add those to your list so that you have 52 at the end of the year. Okay, uh, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's the spiritual goals. That's something you can do every morning. Uh, and if you're only doing one verse and you read it and then you dig into it, that's something that should take no longer than five or 10 minutes to do. And then to memorize your verse, 
another five minutes, you know, to, to repeat it 50 times or whatever, you know, uh, repeat it 10 times, repeat it all throughout the day at different times of the day. Okay. Second type of goal is family or friends, family and friends goals. Okay. Um, maybe you need to renew or rekindle a, a, a relationship that needs to be renewed or rekindled. Maybe you need to renew your vows with your wife, you know, maybe, or, or husband. Uh, maybe you need to uh, make a new friend. I did that just uh, uh, the other day. I made a new friend on, on Facebook. I picked one from Facebook that was a friend, but I really didn't know who he was. So I went uh, out of my way to, to develop a relationship with him. And, and, and now I, about once a week, I'll call him, or, or not call him, but I'll, I'll message him and ask him how to browns are doing that week you know <laughs> which which hasn't been very good you know and then he'll tease me about uh, the cowboys and stuff you know everybody knows i'm a cowboys fan okay but maybe uh uh you know and then uh, today just today I, I a friend of mine by the name of ben dial i i you know we used to talk a lot every week uh used to do a lot of things together and then he moved and i kind of lost track with him i hadn't talked to him other than just commenting on things on facebook i hadn't really talked to him on the phone for probably going on two years. It had been quite a while. So I renewed that uh, relationship today and, and picked up the phone and called him. Uh, it had been a while. And uh, so, you know, we have, I've decided that we're going to start trying to get together at least once a month on the phone just, just to renew and to keep going back and, and doing that. Uh, so do whatever you got to. Maybe pick out a, a devotional uh, to do with your wife or your spouse. Um, and then uh, physical goals. Set an exercise schedule that you can stick with, okay? Uh, all of us, <laughs> and I'm the world, world's worst, we're going on a cruise in January with the Katinas, with Jackie Velasquez, with uh, uh, Nick Gonzalez, and uh, uh, there's nine of my family members that are going with us, or including me, there's nine of us in all in our family that's going. Uh, and we're really excited about that, okay? But... January of last year, I set a goal of losing 100 pounds before that. Well, guess what? It didn't happen. In fact, I lost 30, and then I gained 30 back, and then I gained 10 more back. <laughs> and then I've, I've gone back to losing again. I'm back under again, you know. But, uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm down below where I was, but I did not lose 100 pounds uh, net. So... But, uh, you know, I've decided I'm going to set up an exercise schedule for me that I can stick to. It may be as simple as do one push-up today, and then tomorrow when you get up, do two push-ups. And then the third day, do three. And keep that up until you can't do more, you know, and then continue to do that, that maximum that you can do until you feel like that that's gotten easier, and then start adding to it again, you know. And who knows, by the end of the, the 365 days, you may be at a point where you can do 100 push-ups, okay? But you have to start small and you have to stick to it. You know, um, one of my problems, I didn't have enough accountability buddies, you know? Um, I had a few people that said that they would hold me accountable and they kind of fell off their job too. They didn't hold me accountable and I started eating breakfast again. The, the bad kind of breakfast is not good for you, like pancakes and stuff. Instead of just eating fruit or, or eating good, good, you know, drinking water and, and having good uh, breakfast in the morning. Okay, so physical goals. Uh, if you're a vocalist, do a vocal uh, warm up every morning. Uh, make sure you warm up your voice before you go out and, and do your concert. But also do cardio every day. If you're a vocalist and you struggle with having good breath control and you start doing cardio every day to get your air up, that will do wonders for your for your voice, okay? Uh, instrumentalists, practice your scales and chops every day, okay? Uh, even if it's only three, four, five minutes a day, go through them every day, okay? Uh, get an accountability buddy that will stick with you all year long, that will slap you around when you don't do what you're at, you know, uh, or has to do. And then fourth, first we got, well, first we have spiritual goals, family and friend goals, uh, physical goals, and then fourth is business goals, okay? Set measurable goals, something that you can measure to, so you can know how far you've gone, not generalities, okay? And I can go through a lot of uh, examples, but 
you know, if you set a goal now that a month from now you look back at it, you know, it has to be something that you can measure how far you've come. Okay. Uh, so not generalities, do measurable goals, make a list and look over them every single morning while you brush your teeth. I mean, physically put them on a piece of paper and hang them on the mirror. So every time you brush your teeth, you can look over those goals. Okay. Very important. And think about one thing that you can do that day while you're brushing your teeth, uh, that you can do, you know, think about one thing that you can do during the day that will help bring you closer to your goal, uh, to the end result. Okay. To your goals. Okay. Um, if you're not good at business, get a manager, <laughs> you know, uh, that's what I do. I'm a manager, you know, for Christian music artists, you know, so if you're not good at business and, and what you're needing to work on is the creative side of things so that you can work on more songs for the next album you're doing and everything. Okay. But get a manager that can help you with the business side while you're working on the creative side. Okay. Very important. And I can, you know, in fact, this year we're adding two to three new artists, uh, to manage. Um, I don't do that very often. Okay. But we've just expanded our, uh, employees again, have added another one, a new one recently, and we're up to seven now. And so, um, we will be adding two to three, two, maybe three more artists. Uh, and we already have a couple in mind that we're probably going to be making offers to at the first of the year, um, which is this coming week, you know, but, um, I'm considering adding a third, but we'll come back to that. Okay. Um, so every evening reflect, go to your journal and finish out the day with, with your thoughts and things that happened that day. Highlight, use the symbols that we talked about, the three symbols, the star, the question mark, or the exclamation mark, um, and, and re, you know, reflect on those and then renew your goals. You know, every day go back and, and look at your goals and see if there's something that you need to adjust or change as you go. Okay. So that is pretty much it, um, on, on what to do this year. And so for the artists that I managed, you know, uh, some of you already know, and you already have a journal cause I've told you this before. But those that are new that are hearing this for the first time, do that. Get your journal and start tomorrow morning uh, writing in your journal and, and then writing out your goals uh, and putting them on your mirror and keeping track of every goal every single day and reflect and renew. Reflect on what you did yesterday. What did I do yesterday to accomplish or to get a little closer to those goals? And uh, what am I going to do today? You know, it may be one thing a day, but do it, you know, to accomplish each of those goals. And I'm talking about each of your goals, not just your business goals, but your spiritual goals, your family and friends goals, your, your physical goals, and uh, your business goals. Okay. Uh, reflect on that. For the artists that I manage, um, I want you to do just that. I want you to go back over your goals that, that you prepared a year ago. When we first got, uh, when we got together at the first of last year and, and, uh, make a list of the things that you've accomplished. Okay. Reflect on that and then start making a list of new goals that you would like to accomplish for this year. And then we will go back and we will have our, uh, annual meeting, our goal setting meeting that, that we have every year. I do this, uh, also with brand new artists when we first start, but then we do it every year with every artist, you know, to go back and reflect and renew. Uh, so, um, for the artists to manage, I want, uh, I want you to make sure that you do that. Make sure that you go back and, and do those. And I'll be contacting you in the next few days, um, to see if you have those goals written out yet so that we can sit down and go over those, you know, uh, whether it's via Skype or in person or whether it's, you know, uh, whatever, uh, via FaceTime. Uh, but I like getting together uh, face to face, even if it's over the video to sit down and go over those. So let's make sure that we do that. Okay. Um, as you know, I always do this first on Periscope live, and then I save the video, uh, and then I upload it to YouTube and then I add it to my blog post over at McLaughlinMusicGroup.com. Okay. And, uh, obviously the title of this one will be reflect and renew. And, uh, 
So that'll be coming up uh, over the next day or so. Uh, on, uh, I'm gonna try to get it done today so you can have have it to look at, you know, uh, fairly soon. Uh, comment on whenever you see it at McLaughlin Music Group or on on the uh, YouTube uh, channel or my McLaughlin Music Group uh, YouTube channel. Go ahead and, and comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and uh, if you have questions, let me know. Um, and I will be happy to answer those, okay? May not always be the answer you want, but I do answer. <laughs> okay? Hope you all have had a great year. We've had an incredible year. Uh, and New Year's coming up. Lots of new things. Erskine, I'm looking forward to the new single we're going to be releasing for you in, in January. I won't give away yet what it is, but... It's going to be kind of a remix of a song that he recorded a while back. I'll give you a good hint. And it's one of my favorite songs that he does. And I, and I approached him about it early on, even while we were uh, releasing those other two songs that we've done. And so I said, we have got to release this song. If you've never released it, we've got to release this. This is my favorite song of any you've done yet. Um, so watch for that. Keep an eye on, on our blog and, and on, on, you know, if you follow me at Facebook, keep an eye on the song. You'll see an announcement about the new song we're going to release for Erskine. It's going to be killer. Um, so, all right. Uh, if I didn't mention anybody else, you know, on songs that's coming up, it's just because there's so many of them that we're working on. I apologize. We, you know, we do have quite a few that's releasing in January and we'll have more even in February. Uh, it's a busy time of the year, uh, but uh, January 23rd, uh, we're going to be heading out on that cruise for five days, going to Yucatan and Cozumel, um, and I will have somebody watching the house, a house sitter, so anybody that's thinking about robbing my house while I'm gone, not going to happen. <laughs> so, anywho, um, all right, bless you all. Have a great week. Have a... Be safe tonight. Uh, do not uh, do anything that you shouldn't be doing, you know. Uh, celebrate, but do it in a Christian way. <laughs> and I'll leave that up to you. All right, so we will talk soon. Anything you need, give me a holla. All right, later.